Uh, today is on Tuesday, <clears throat> 16th of July, 2024. I'm calling upon parents and the remnants of God's people in the country of Kenya and the people who love the nation of Kenya from other nations that we arise and intercede for the young generation in our country, even as they go out for Madamano today. Uh, Satan has planted uh, his his own in their midst, and um, uh, uh, the devil has planted terrorists, people who are ready to die, and they 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 have explosive devices, and this. Uh, at the end of the day may implicate uh, the, the security personnel of the nation. I don't know how, I'm speaking as a prophet, I don't know how it is. it has been done, but uh, the security hedges of the nation have been broken because of what has been going on. I've always said Ishmael uh, is a loophole for the security of the nation and it can never guard the territories of the nation. Uh, so we pray for our young people that Satan will not have blood again on the streets of the nation of Kenya. So that I pray, I a quick one, and I'm also praying for the young people as you go out. And uh, we are hearing you, we are listening, and as parents, we are praying for you. But my prayer is that, uh, you know, as I, I said the other day, what is happening in the nation of Kenya is a voice. Is, it is either a voice or a message that um, uh, Satan will not capitalize on that and the will of God will sail through in the nation of Kenya. Number two, have a message. Sharama handorobozi katarama mazia. Rikaya andorobozi katarama mazaya. I don't know how quickly this word will get to the president of the nation of Kenya. I don't know how long it will take. The word of God for you, uh, President, this morning is in John chapter 21 and John chapter 2. Uh, in the wedding of Colonel Ugarit, it's a simple word, but it's a message from the heart of God. Uh, having known where you came from and having confessed its prayer, and uh, uh, my, my pity is that you have been surrounded from the ch touching the church and all out by very wrong counsel people who had their own agenda and the main agenda of the devil to make you fall and fail uh, the lord has quickened my spirit this morning and i have to come on board and share my hand robots here and speak this word uh, to you i don't know how this word will get to the uh, to the president to be precise uh, Peter one time diverted from the course and uh, he was followed by other disciples they say he said I'm going back fishing and they all went and you remember the Lord our Savior had called them from that and given given them an assignment or changed to them the assignment of their lives and when they uh, they went you see, they labored, Sharama and Robozia, they labored the whole night. And uh, at the morning, uh, the Savior, our Lord, Yeshua appears and he's calling them children haven't you had any catch you know how you know and uh, the story is wrong I don't want to major on the story I want to pass for the word from the mouth of the Lord so uh, 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 our Savior our Yeshua instructed instructed cast your net on the right hand, cast it deep, depending on the version of your Bible, cast it deep and cast it on the right side of the boat. Now, and what we saw is a catch where there was vain labor, where there was toil, something that was being looked for the entire night came out. You know, it was gotten, and, and um, it was too much that, uh, you know, the neighbors had to be beckoned. Uh, you know to to come and assist because and the one thing that I really thank God for is that the nets were not torn because of the weight of the much fish that was caught um, that time 
uh, Peter is saying, yes, it is true. As human beings, we have dwelt. We thought by our past experiences, we can make it. And we thought by our own ability, we can win the battle. We thought because, you know, we thought now we, uh, you know, we have the experience, we have the nets, water is at our command, we have the experience of this thing, you know, where we are coming from, we had, you know, we used to, this was our life, so we can do it. And uh, they dwell, they labored. This is what has happened to your government, your excellence, for the past two years, vain labor, and uh, it can be seen by what you've done to your cabinet and everything else and everything else, uh, what is happening there nation because there was a diversion from October 2022 uh, 22, there was a diversion and we kept we shouted it when we got it as intercessor of the country we shouted there was a diversion and uh, the Lord is saying this morning because uh, what is surrounding you and uh, I, I, we can hear phone calls in the spirit and we can hear we can see meetings people burning midnight hours position this one return me here do this because of the past experience and whatever kind of an attachment you have with some people now this time around nobody will be pushed by anybody to lead any place in this nation it can only be at your word at your word nevertheless Sharama Handoroba was here your word you need to seek the counsel of people under the influence of the Spirit of God to be able to catch it to catch it right who is supposed to be where I want to make a warning sir Ishmael cannot take charge of our security no matter who no matter what no matter who no matter what security of the nation of Kenya must be in the hands of is uh, must be in the hands of Isaac must be in the hands of uh, you know Isaac in this nation that is the bottom line of the matter so um the word of the Lord is nevertheless at your word. So Kaidre, get hold of the word of God. May the Lord bring to you right now. Avoid so many other activities right now. You need to be still. Allow the nation to heal and hear what the Lord is saying. What the Lord is saying right now. You need to hear what the Lord is saying. Nevertheless, at your word. Nevertheless, at your word. Never, not the word of any man, but the word of God. Not the, the, the prophet imported, not the, the prophet, I don't know from where. Nevertheless, may the Lord bring to your way the Josephs of our time, um, young people and people, not necessarily even young people, people under the influence, the, the northern of our time, facing David and telling him, you know, uh, the Samuels of our time who will face you and tell you this is the oh, this is what the Lord is saying. This is the direction of the Lord because the nation of Kenya is in the verge of Haribad. Now, John chapter 2, uh, there is the wine God finished in the wedding of Camilo Galilee. And thank God for the representation of heaven, Mary was there. And at the end of the day, uh, you know, uh, Mary is telling the people, whatever he tells you to do, do it. So where there was supposed to be shame, what counters the shame is the word or the instruction from the mouth of the Lord. So three things are very key. This time around, hearing the voice of God, getting it with the clarity. Number two, obey that voice without asking questions, without any negotiations, without any delay. Number three, cooperating with the Lord so that we can have the results that God is desiring for, for the nation. I call upon parents once again in the nation of Kenya. Let us pray for our young people. Let us take charge of the broken hedges through, you know, um, uh, the, you know, through whatever has been happening in the past, uh, the security may be compromised here and there, but let us take charge. We have the power and authority to take charge that whatever the devil meant for evil this day will be countered by the grace of God. Number three, I want us to pray for our security personnel. This is not the time for any division. This is not the time for, you know, uh, having staff that are different. This is the time for the unity of purpose. So I want us to agree together this morning that the word of God will be heard in this nation. The instructions, because let me tell you, um, it is the instruction from the hands of the Lord. 
uh, that are going to uh, rightly guide the nation and cause the nation get into the right assignment, even in the positions in posi positionings that are going to be given. It is not business as usual. A uh, nation cannot live in warfare. Anybody who will be slaughtered in, slaughtered in Nehoya, let me tell you, they'll be resist and they'll be reject. Anybody who is not of the will of God, there'll be too much resist and there'll be too much, uh, you know, reject. And this is what God spoke from October. I mean, uh, August, I'm September, when the government was constituted, 2022. So God said that there will be a lot of that. Anything that will be tried against the purpose and the agenda of God. So I pass that to what? And I leave it there. I leave it. Let's pray for our security personnel, our army, uh, that there be no division among us, um, uh, you know, between uh, tribal lines or between uh, political lines and all that. I know there's a lot of discontentment in the spirit. Let let us not push things to the edge. May we pray for our security personnel that they are going to be one so that they can you know, labor also as we are rebelling the spirit to unite the nation. So I leave that word there when the word of God is obeyed to the latter and when the counsel of God is adhered to God is able to do what no man can do there is a plan of the enemy behind the curtain against the nation and the prophetic destiny of this nation pushing the agenda of uh, what and I said uh, those things that were allowed to freely flow in the nation the ungodliness the idol worship those things the devil is capitalizing on that but we have God who is able to do something new this morning because it is time for God to do a new thing in the nation of Kenya. Kenya must become the preordained of God. God bless you.